Now, Givioni from Montreal wrote in. I called into the show on CJD. For those of you who don't know it, we, I have a radio show in Montreal for the last 27 years uh, uh, at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning, if I can remember when it is. got to get there on time. And uh, <clears throat> he says, you recommended to mesh steel wool into caulking to close gaps in or, and trim uh, gaps between brick and trim to keep mice out of the attic. I can't find a contractor that would add steel wool to caulking. Can you recommend any contractors? Uh, and then since then, I got a call from my sister in California who said, I'm still trying to get the bats out of my belfry. She is a little flaky, but yeah, she has bats in her house. And bats are actually a form of mice. And it's the same problem. How are we going to get them out? No, I know of no contractors who actually do that for you. But we're going to do it right now. And I'll show you how simple it really is. And this can really work. So I just put some tools up here, but I want to start out by going down here and looking at a web page that says, how do you stop mice from coming into the house? That's what we were talking about on the radio. But on the radio, there's no pictures. You see this nice shot here, that foam? If you just shoot foam or caulking and the mice know that's where they want to go, they'll chew right through it. So if you look in there, there's actually some steel wool back there. And here's the steel wool. In this case, we're using foam in a can. We put the straw, the foam in a can, in the middle of the steel rule, stick the steel wool in the hole, and then blow it up. And that's one way to do it. The other way is we're simply going to make a mess here on my table. So let's see what we can do for making a mess. And we'll put a little bit of anti-mess down. This is... If uh, Celine, we can show that. This is, it's called Inox, and I just saw it in a regular store, and it's stainless steel scrub pads. You can also get brass scrub pads. And then I cut off a little piece, because we don't need a lot of it. The whole idea is this stuff is so tough that a mouse will scratch his nose on it and can't chew through it. So he'll quit, and he'll give up trying, at least in that hole. And so all we need to do is to make sure it's well covered and sticky. Oh, by the way, did you see that come out? This is the best caulking closer I ever found, and I'm not even sure where I found it. I gotta dig this up again. It's, it's real soft rubber, and it has the spike, so it closes nicely, and it keeps the whole shaft open. Don't you love that? That, that was an accidental extra. So we're just gonna throw some caulking into the middle of this, not into the outside of it. I wanna go to the middle like we did with that foam. And then depending on how big your hole is, you fill that up like that. And you see the caulking is coming through. And as you work that, you now can expose enough caulking it'll stick to something. But as you can imagine, there's no rodent on earth who's gonna chew his way through that once it sets up. And so jam it in, smooth it off, and you've actually got a permanent closure for those mice. Now. He mentioned brick, and if you are worried about the mice coming through those weep holes in the bottom of the brick, we can't do this. Why? Because we need those brick weep holes open. Come back to the computer and come down and see this thing. This is a stainless steel screen, and it's not as big as you think. It squeezes right in between two bricks in that weep hole position. And in fact, you could even put a little filter in if you're worried about bugs coming through. But it's called Rid of Mice. And there's a link to their own website right here. But you just squeeze them into each hole and the mice, by the way, mice do squeeze through that small a hole. If they can get their head through, they can get their whole body through. It's amazing to watch. But that is the, one of the best devices I've seen to go all the way around your house at least that slot fully functioning for what it needs to do for the wall. And if you want to look up rain screen elsewhere, you could see more on exactly what that's all about. But that will give you a good uh, seal against mice. Mm -hmm.